some stubborn shower doors. You can see how bad this one is. This one I already did the first treatment. Uh, what I'm using is uh, HVAC 444. Already, uh, it's already been cleaned with 409, but it, a lot of times it doesn't do the trick. Uh, what this is is actually sub scum. As you can see, even on the tub surround, that's just sub scum. And uh, it makes you wonder why anyone these days uses bar soap because when it's leaving that kind of residue, what's it leaving on your body? You know, if, if you uh, have a fiberglass tub, using liquid soap will actually keep your shower a lot cleaner. Again, I, I have to wonder if it's leaving this kind of staining on, you know, the tub surround, what's it leaving on your body? Anyway, a nice easy spray with the HVAC 444 does really good to clean this stuff off. Uh, so that's what I'll be doing. Let me jump up in here. And uh, we'll just spray it pretty liberally. And I'll let it set for a few minutes. It does really good on the anodized metal as well. It really um, does a good job of breaking down calcium and mineral deposits. But the other side of it is that it leaves a coating on the glass. So it makes the water run off. And uh, the nice thing about that is, you know, then your stuff isn't going to get dirty as fast, so it'll keep it clean longer. But again, this does really good on the anodized metal as well. Clean all that calcium deposits off. Grab my rag and screw a dib dib. And uh, as well as this stuff, I'll show you on the tub surround gonna spray it off, spray it on. This is some really stubborn soap residue. Um, now a lot of times with the soap residue, you have to uh, wait till it's dry and then you'll wipe it off with a, with a dry rag. Anyway, here goes our HVAC 444 in action. I'm not pressing too hard, just hard enough to do the job. The anodized metal, I'll press a little harder. As you can see, it just cleans it up real nice. Polishes it real nice. But again, it does a good job and leaves that coating. So we can just make things a little bit better. Bring it up a notch. Need to re-clean the tub when I'm done, but this uh, there wasn't much other way to, to get this. Yeah, it's gonna be worth it, and that we're gonna have a much nicer finished product. Get rid of all that soap scum, and uh, just gonna kind of since my feet are gonna wind up. Tracking it. Okay. It might not be perfect, but it's going to be that much, that much better. Have a little more of a gloss finish to it. Yeah, it does get on the metal too. It really. Coats it, revives it a little bit, polish it a little bit. Just bring it up a notch. Okay. And the shower doors. Looks like I need another treatment on that side. And uh, it won't hurt to hit this side as well. Um, it does, again, real good on stuff like this. Just kind of goes at it right away. But also bring that metal up. Make it a little bit nicer. Do what I can.
Okay, it might not be perfect. It'll just be a bit better. Oh yeah. Looks like this was on this side. Well, there we go. Taking it off. Anyway, that's so much better. It's not perfect, but you get the idea that we've gone through a dramatic change. And I'll just keep working with a little bit and make it even better from there. Progress. It's a good thing. Thanks for watching. Kung Fu Maintenance. Over and out. Now, if anything comes back after you're finished and, and it's dry, especially on the soap stuff, just a dry rag and, and buffing it out will finish it off and be done with it. And again, this leaves a nice coating, a nice finish to let the, keep the water running off like it should. Good to go. Thanks for watching. Come for minutes. Over now.